Hi and welcome to our video. This is going to be about glass painting on a curved surface. I know this looks a bit strange to start with. I have already outlined my piece and I've chosen a design which is quite broken up with outlining so there's no huge areas which need painting. Now I've put this lamp on it as you can see. The reason for that is I'm trying to heat it up slightly. If the glass is warm paint will dry quicker and have less time to run. If the glass is cold, the opposite. Okay, so let's move the lamp for now so you can see what's going on. Okay, that should have got it. And here you can see is the, the piece first, which we're going to paint, as I said, curved surface, but I have done a design where there's not sort of sweeping areas going across. It's all quite broken up. I'm going to put it here using these two paint bottles to hold it. And what I'm going to do is do everything I can in this sort of plane. Leave that to dry, then move it around and continue like that. I'm using the LMB Victor paint. Um, this is the thickest paint. It's the strongest paint, so it needs the least on. So I can get away, hopefully, with, with quite a small, thin coating. Let's give it a try. All right, hope you can see that clearly. I'm gonna start by painting up here. I'll show everything on this plane. I might not do that one. I think we're better off. Doing this one here and this one here. Okay, let's give it a try. You'll notice this time I'm using a brush because I am more brush painting than I am plug filling. small amount of paint, getting it well brushed over. Too much on and it's going to pool in one area. Remember this glass is slightly warm, so it should dry fairly quick. Make sure we get it up to the line with no gaps. And it's not going to be a smoother finish as we get and we'll properly blood filling. That again is not necessarily a bad thing. Don't want those air bubbles. There we go. Now I'm actually just going to leave that there. Give that chance to dry, at least become tacky dry, before I move on to the next bit. So I will put the lamp back onto it again to help it dry go. Okay so a little bit of time's passed. I've had the lamp on this and hopefully this has gone slightly dry now. So I'm just going to turn it ever so slightly like that and do the next bit. And obviously I'm going to carry on doing it like that until the whole piece is done. Best done while you're doing something else so you don't want to sit here and wait every time it's doing that bit of drying. I did only leave it for like five or ten minutes well, probably 10, 15. Um, it wasn't a long, long time. Okay, well, I haven't shown you every single uh, bit of painting. I thought you'd get a bit bored with that. So I'm just going to show you a little bit more. You will notice my paint pots have changed. Uh, what have we got here? Hard drive and a torch. Still keeping the object straight, I did think after a bit that maybe keeping my paints under a hot light for any length of the time probably wasn't a good idea. So I'd say, we've changed for this. Right, and now we're going to carry on and paint a little bit more. There we go, and now I'm going to put the light back onto that. Ah. 
and that will help it dry out or at least get tacky dry quicker. Okay well that's all the uh, purple done so we'll now start with the first of the green. Well in case you were wondering what it is we were painting it's this uh, glass insert for the lantern uh, candle lantern, candle goes inside and you can see it, this has been very nice paint certainly the best paint I've ever used for, for working on, on 3D objects there's a little bit of sort of variation in the colour on the purple but I don't think that looks bad in fact I think it, 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 it adds a, a little to it solid blocks of colour, even real stained glass you don't have solid solid blocks of colour so this variation is quite nice and the green's taken well. So this LMB paint, highly recommended for 3D glass painting. Remember, warm your object up, only try and paint a very small area at a time. Keep your object warm and keep moving it around as it gets tacky dry. Have fun. Bye.